We have our co-founder of Kyber Network here joining us on the call, Loy Lu. We also have Shane Home, the head of marketing for Kyber Network, and I'll be hosting today. We have a lot of exciting updates and developments for you guys. Uh, and we thank you all for your contribution so far to the community. Uh, so with that, I will get started with a quick summary. Well, we have a lot of amazing updates, so maybe not so quick, but a summary of the developments so far in the last month. So in the last call, we were excited to share amazing news and milestones in Kyber Network's ecosystem growth including the successful launch of the Kyber DMM on Polygon, as well as the success of our Rainmaker liquidity mining program. So in this call, we want to announce some record-breaking milestones with regard to the Kyber DMM and the Rainmaker liquidity mining program as the volume and TVL continue to climb. Uh, we're also excited to announce that we are furthering our multi-chain ambitions based on your input and your votes uh, and we are currently proposed to expand to both Binance Smart Chain and Avalanche. And upon KyberDAO votes, uh, we will definitely be on those chains very soon. And also there are other proposed things, such as the joint liquidity mining programs, which we've received some proposals from projects and we're receiving more from other projects. And I guess a lot of you are wondering, um, Kyber DAO voters will also be receiving rewards from voting upon uh, KIP 11's passing, which already passed. So now I'm going to move into some of our updates from the Kyber DAO, and Loy and Shane will also jump in to answer any questions or add their comments as well. So first, I want to discuss briefly uh, KIP 10, the Joint Liquidity Mining Proposal Framework. You guys have seen we already got a project who proposed and the reason why we did this framework is to contribute to kyber's ecosystem growth uh, we want to work with selected projects that the community approves of to provide token holders with additional incentives to hold their tokens and add liquidity on the kyber dmm we want to be the go-to place for people to add their liquidity this will also in turn educate external communities about the benefits of Kyber DMM and bring a network effect. So with that, I would like to pass it to Shane if he has any comments on the joint liquidity mining for you guys. Hi, can you hear me? Yes. Hello, great. Yeah, so the joint liquidity mining framework uh, was born out of some of the discussions we've had previously. Uh, we've gotten a lot of feedback and suggestions from the community about needing to work you know, with uh, the top DeFi or the promising DeFi projects out there. And I think this is a very good opportunity for any uh, promising or popular DeFi project to work with Kyber, uh, a reputable and you know, a, a, a well-known brand in the DeFi space already. And by working together for the amplify the value and impact that we can bring to the space, uh, specifically about uh, you know enhancing liquidity for the DeFi tokens out there and for any dApps, any aggregators, uh, wallets that require such liquidity, uh, working with Kyber to uh, enhance it and and uh, ensure that like uh, users will have different uh, the different kind of tokens that they need at very good rates. So the a joint liquidity mining program will. Uh, benefit Kyber as well, specifically in, in three ways. One being that uh, it will definitely help to bootstrap initial liquidity for the pools that we have on the Kyber DMM. And uh, during this current period, we are really focusing on the Kyber DMM and getting more projects on board. So even behind the scenes, uh, we are talking to and a lot of projects already. You are you are starting to see some of the fruits of uh, our labor with proposals being put out on the forum by uh, teams like Creator, by Avalanche, uh, the even you know, the BSC uh, proposal that was just passed recently. So you will also see a lot more 
of such proposals in the next few months. So one being to bootstrap liquidity for Kyber DMM. Two, it will help bring more users to the Kyber ecosystem, bring more KNC, uh, I mean, create more KNC holders, because through the liquidity mining activities, more people will be gaining KNC rewards mm -hmm. and learning about Kyber. Uh, and also in the process, staking and voting and participating in governance through the Kyber DAO. Uh, and third, it also helps us cement uh, our relationships with uh, the, the other DeFi projects in a space. And there are a lot of like network effects that could be uh, achieved here. As we work with more DeFi projects and uh, they can connect us with others that we may not uh, know personally. And through all these different uh, activities, we help to amplify Kyber's reach and impact in the space. So we are very excited about this joint liquidity mining framework that we came up with. But because it's new, uh, and we really welcome any feedback from the community around it. Uh, so please take a look. This is on KIP 10, uh, this new framework that we came up with. And it's not set in stone. Uh, we, we are open to you know, hearing on how we can improve it uh, and, how, on, and how we can work with more projects by using this framework. Yep, Sasha, please. Okay, so with that, um, with the joint liquidity mining framework, we also are welcome to any of your input. If you have any ideas or if you know any projects that you think would contribute to our community as well, um, please go ahead and add your input. Okay, so, uh, and then the next tip is KIP 11. So that was a fee liquidation framework, which a lot of people had questions on, which uh, calculates the reward distribution. So currently your rewards are being accumulated and they will be distributed soon. Uh, I don't know if Shane, you want to add to that, if you have any more details on exactly when? Yeah, so we understand that it's actually been a few months uh, where the rewards have been withheld and it's, it's being accumulated, you can see the amount of rewards that are owed to KNC holders. And uh, personally, myself, I'm also waiting for these rewards. So there's about 700, uh, around $750,000 worth. So that's a, it's, it's quite a big amount that, uh, you know, we, we're all excited to receive very soon. So the proposal has already been approved by the DAO or KIP 11 to uh, for the new liquidation framework. So this framework is required uh, to, uh, in, a, in this current Kyber DAO version, where rewards are actually being uh, received in multiple different tokens. As Kyber becomes a liquidity hub of different protocols, these protocols may be collecting fees in uh, different tokens, not just in either. And through KIP 11, the DAO has approved uh, the use of KNC being the uh, like the, the reward token that fees are converted to prior to reward distribution to the voters like you and I. So with this approval, uh, the, the, the major step has already been uh, taken. Right now, the team is actually uh, trying to execute this proposal and we have some you know development work that needs to be done uh, before it can be, uh, you know, it goes live, but we are confident that uh, it should be available for distribution by you know, in, in one or two weeks. We are really trying our best uh, to do this ASAP, and we implore you to, you know, uh, give us your some, you know, your understanding during this period. But it's it's for all of uh, the team members. We are all can see holders as well. So we are all eagerly uh, waiting for these rewards and uh, the team is working uh, as hard as we can to distribute them as fast as possible. Hey, hey guys, uh, this is Lloyd. Uh, so I think I just want to add a little bit more on top of what Shane shared uh, on, on why, uh, you know, it took so long uh, for us like, to complete with the, uh, you know, reward distribution model for the DAO. Uh, basically, um, you know, since, uh, since, um, you know, for example, like in DMM, the DAO will take will receive the, the fees in LP tokens. Uh, 
and there are going to be like many pools, right? And also like you know many different uh, DMAP deployments, different blockchain. Um, that's why uh, we have to be careful with the liquidation of the LP tokens uh, to uh, say K and Z, right? Uh, because you know it's gonna uh, maybe like there's not a direct pair uh, for for the LP tokens to K and Z, and we have to make sure that you know there's no mistake. Uh, so the team took a lot of like you know careful consideration in designing and implementing the fee uh, 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 sort of the reward distribution uh, uh, system in the DAO. And uh, I think uh, it's going to be live really soon within a week or two. Okay, thank you. Uh, so now, uh, if you guys have any other questions on that, we'll try to address them at the end. Uh, we're going to move on to another piece of exciting news that was KIP 12, the Kyber DMM expansion and liquidity mining on Binance Smart Chain, which was passed. And uh, with this, uh, we hope for the successful deployment uh, within probably about one week or two. Uh, we have already deployed on Polygon Network and we were exploring other different um, networks as well. So if you have any comments or feedback based on this, we also, of course, welcome it. And through this initiative, we expect more BSC users to hold KNC and get introduced to Kyber. And this will also enlarge and enrich our ecosystem. Uh, we've already been talking to projects on BSC as well. Uh, and I want, uh, Loy, if you have any input on our deployment to Binance Smart Chain, you can jump in with your comments. Yeah, so I think we saw the KP was approved uh, by the DAO uh, some time ago. Uh, and uh, uh, I think uh, it's not really our team has been working with Binance. Uh, to uh, to make sure that they support BNC or on ESC. So you know, in able to uh, so the users they need to be able to uh, bridge BNC either written to Binance.com and from Binance.com to BSC. Um, that's how most of the token uh, transfer are done on BSC. Uh, so Binance they did take some time to consider that uh, and prepare for everything. That's why there is a big delay uh, uh, expectation. Um, but yeah, but I think uh, we got good news from them a couple of days ago that, uh, it's been, uh, that the bridge is going to be uh, available soon. Uh, I think we are expecting to uh, to, to have an email uh, deployment on BSC and also KNC uh, available on BSC um, uh, in the first week of September. Uh, for the exact date, uh, the, the, the team would announce it. Okay, so let's uh, wait for some good news around the first week of September. Things seem to move pretty quickly. Uh, also, some other exciting news uh, relatedly to our multi-chain strategy, which a lot of projects are adopting these days. Uh, the Kyber DMM deployment and joint liquidity mining on Avalanche so Avalanche is recently very popular. It's one of the newest networks and it's an open programmable smart contract platform that is starting to be a popular venue for DeFi dApps and NFTs due to its high throughput and, and also fast transaction finality. Uh, so the Avalanche Foundation proposed that our Kyber DMM protocol be deployed there, coupled with a joint liquidity mining campaign where we contribute $3 million worth of KNC, and then they contribute $2 million worth of AVAX tokens as incentives. Um, and they also suggest that we work with other big projects in Avalanche. I guess we have a pretty good head start for this network. Uh, and then, yeah, so I want uh, Loy also to contribute some of his feedback. I think this is a really great initiative too. Yeah, I think um, I think over the last couple of months we have been seeing good uh, progress uh, in terms of like e ecosystem building and things like that on Avalanche. Uh, we know their team like you know for quite some time. I think uh, since since uh, when they started, um, their techs. Okay, so they have like you know different innovation in their consensus uh, model, etc. To uh, allow you know fast and scalable blockchain. Uh, 
um, and uh, and now that they, they have really built uh, some uh, some nice ecosystem going on there, um, yeah. So I think it's just like a over for us like, to to set up our price there and uh, you know, uh, and and do it entirely to claim the uh, uh and hopefully when it really like to well, right, uh, um, you know, the DMM is gonna be there already. Okay. So uh, this is great news with the deployment of the Kyber DMM on Binance Smart Chain and Avalanche around the same time. It looks like uh, the ecosystem will grow and reach a lot of new communities. And it looks like we also as a community have more uh, incentives to yield farm and do liquidity mining. Uh, I also want to address, I guess, the question in the chat uh, about the current Kyber DAO model uh, because it's related to our next line item here uh, about voting on the Kyber DAO. Uh, we saw some different feedback about our voting system on the Kyber DAO. So uh, in the forum, you can see that Loy actually posted to address it. Um, the pro in that model that he suggested, which is excluding exchange votings from the Kyber DAO, is that it would incentivize more users to cast their vote themselves. By withdrawing from the exchange but the con as well is that it's more troublesome so uh, i want to ask a lawyer if he has any opinions on this and also if you have any questions right now we can also try to address them yeah i think um i think the 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 post uh, on the forum uh, is really like an invitation for everyone to contribute their talk and share their ideas right I think um, I think we do see the pros and cons uh, of uh, excluding uh, you know the agendas from voting. Um, like for example, like Binance and uh, I think they they uh, they have a lot of currency there. Uh, they they allow uh, a lot of like you know currency holders to partic participate in the DAO indirectly. Uh, but at the same time, I think um, and and I think one good thing about Binance is that they they publicly like. I think they they publicly communicate that they won't vote to swing the result of the vote, right? They just follow. Uh, okay, so most of the time they will just like you know uh, uh, do the vote, cast the vote in the last minute, and uh, whichever option is winning, then they will just vote for that option. Uh, so I think um, from from their voting strategy, they they don't want to 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 be the one that. That will swing, swing the result of, of the vote, um, uh, but I think it, it does happen that you know they have a lot of like KNC uh, uh, you know, that the users deposit there, and um, and um, you know I think uh, a lot of a lot of community members uh, have the concern about uh, you know they can just essentially like swing the vote uh, anytime, right? Uh, I mean, like having someone like Binance to have that power to change the result of any DAO voting campaign is, you know, it's not, it's not good, right? I think um, really, like, I, I don't have a good answer for this. Uh, it's really like up to the discussion of, of everyone in the community. Um, I mean, like, we we understand the pros and, and we understand the cons, right? Um, uh, and and I think what is what is more important is you know is is, is optional for the for the for the, for the currency holders as well. Like they don't have it to keep their currency in Binance if they are not comfortable with leaving it there. If they want to participate in the DAO directly, then they can always do that. Yeah. So yeah, I think I think we want to hear more opinions from the from the people in the community. Okay. Thanks for that input. So uh, again, Shane just added this uh, link to the forum item in the chat the general chat so now with that we're done with the current kyber DAO updates we should have the avalanche uh launch or deployment up for vote soon on kyber.org uh now i want to move on to the kyber dmm itself as you know it's our main product right now in uh, kyber's architecture as a hub of liquidity protocols and uh, it's continuing to pave the way as the first dynamic market maker. Uh, projects are already experiencing experiencing the benefits of this liquidity protocol as more tokens are being added, and as more projects are integrating the Kyber DMM. And the Rainmaker liquidity mining itself is still in full school is still in full swing. 
we have one week left on Polygon and about a month left on Ethereum. Uh, the TVL, uh, the first milestone we reached was about 350 million on July 5th. And within two months, we're at 500 million, which we reached uh, about two weeks ago. The volume hit 1 billion on August 21st. So that's pretty awesome. Um, Kyber also ranked first in top projects by weekly TVL growth on Polygon uh, in July. And then some other projects have taken some initiatives to, um, to I guess, integrate the Kyber DMM and add their own liquidity mining programs. For example, O3 Wallet launched a KNC staking farm to earn O3 as part of their own campaign. Uh, X Dollar posted a public experiment on liquidity mining uh, between four liquidity protocols on Polygon, uh, DFIN, Iron Finance, SushiSwap, and Kyber. And uh, Kyber DMM had amazing results in terms of volume when compared with others. Uh, so you guys can also check that out and you can continue to farm uh, Kyber DMM LP tokens there for six more days. Uh, Crystal Wallet integrated the Kyber DMM as well. So that's exciting. Shane, do you have anything to add on the events we've held or anything with other projects? So uh, no, nothing to add for this section. Please continue. Okay, so we also wanted to announce some of our integrations. Uh, we are now on DBank. We are on Coin98. And DeFi Llama is now tracking Kyber Network on Polygon. So that's exciting. I saw the rankings the other day and we're a pretty good project on Polygon. Uh, HitBTC supports KNC, token swap. Siren Protocol also launched KNC options. Zapper recently integrated the Kyber DMM. Uh, and then the KNC, the new KNC is now available on several other platforms, including uh, the giving block, currency.com, coins.ph, and even on mainstream fintech app Revolut. Uh, so do you have any uh, comments on our integrations, Shane? Uh, no major comments. I just think uh, it's very heartening to see that more projects are starting to, uh, to, to realize the benefits of the Kyber DMM and uh, a, a lot of our efforts in you know, having calls with them, talking to them, explaining to them about Kyber DMM uh, and helping them understand it better has resulted in more integrations. Uh, I think one of the uh, areas where we can get you know, more feedback from the community and get some ideas from the community is how we can encourage more projects and token teams to create their pools uh, on on their own or is, is it you know it, it perhaps it's too uh, it might be complex for them and they require certain educational material that uh, you have seen other projects uh, use very effectively please share them with us so kyber has the kyber dmm itself has crossed uh, over a billion dollars in volume recently and the TVL is close to 500 million. And this is only with uh, very few tokens on the platform. So one of our objectives in the next few months is to increase the variety of tokens and token pools there. And it actually only takes less than five minutes to create a pool. Uh, I mean, there's no minimum amount that you have to put in. So if somebody creates a pool, anybody else can add liquidity on top of it. But we are wondering if you know the the community members have any ideas on uh, why right they, they might what what barriers are preventing them from actually creating a pool. So that that is an interesting topic that we can discuss together in a forum. Please share your ideas, uh, you know, on 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 the forum or on Telegram or on Discord. Thank you, Shane. So uh, we also, in uh, our outreach for Kyber DMM, and not only our integrations and such, but our outreach is very important to, to reach the community and to grow our community. Uh, and our team is in full swing, uh, attending many different marketing events, uh, panels, uh, 
fireside chats and such. Uh, Shane and Loy, who are here with us on this call, participated in several of them over the past month, uh, including Singapore FinTech Festival, uh, OKX's Roundtable, and, uh, uh, and some AMAs with Gaines Associates and several others. Loy was in the summit with Solana CEO Anatoly uh, Yakovenko. And uh, we have some other marketing team staff who have also been like proactively reaching out to the community through these events. If you have any ideas for more events or more ways we can continue our outreach efforts, and please let us know as well. In terms of uh, media, we also had several, I guess, uh, shout outs in the media. Uh, we were featured in Delphi Digital's latest issue of Yield Strats. Uh, we were on Outcoin Buzz on yieldfarmers.substack.com. And also uh, Crystal Wallet, again, who integrated Kyber DMM, raised $6.6 .6 million and also gave us a shout out. Uh, Polygon also released a Kyber DMM case study as part of their walkthrough series. So if you guys are interested, you can go check that out too. I saw that some of our other friends' projects also actually shared that for us on Twitter. And uh, besides that, we also wanted to thank our community members like uh, for their contributions to our ecosystem growth. I see a lot of our community members here, even in this chat right now, who are constantly contributing their ideas, introducing us to other projects and such. Uh, I want to shout out to uh, one of our users. I don't know how to pronounce this username, but it's MRKWHG. Thank you so much for introducing us to projects and your ideas. I want to thank uh, Chris Ochoa, too, for introducing us to projects. And also, I see in this chat a uh, Zeb who is one of the community ambassadors for another project. Uh, and he and other ambassadors are continuing to contact Kyber. Yes, for Index Co-op. I'm sorry if I didn't say that right. But um, also I see down with the FUDers who is constantly also contributing. So I'm sorry if I can't address everyone, but I am so happy for all of your contributions to the Kyber community. We're always uh, open to your ideas, your comments, your feedback in the forum and here on Discord. Uh, so with that, I want to ask if uh, Loy or Shane have anything to add so far before we open it up to questions. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's uh, nothing much on my side. Uh, if uh, if you think there's any good project that we should like, reach out to, to invite them to join the liquidity mining, uh, you know, by all means, please uh, send them away. Thank you. And oh, Shane, do you have anything? Lloyd, uh, could you help to answer Zeb's question on uh, the Kyber Treasury? He just asked it on the on Discord. Okay, so we know the coin at the end, uh, quite well. Um, we've been like I think uh, working with them on several electronic marketing uh, programs and uh, you know um, other other the different like. Uh, crypto and blockchain events, uh, education programs, things like that. Um, yeah, I mean, like, so far, that's pretty much uh, uh, the link between the two teams. Uh, I mean, like, other than uh, the, the founders of the Vietnamese are based in Ho Chi Minh City, is the Kyber Treasury diversifies. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, I think we are, we are, we are quite, uh, our, our treasury is quite uh, well managed. So we have a uh, 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 you know uh, good uh, distribution between Bitcoin, Ether, and stable coins as well. Okay, so with that, we can open it up to more questions. If you have any questions, again, you can type in the general chat. Uh, let's see here. So thank you for all your questions. Uh, could it be an idea to have liquidity mining and governance mining programs? For KNC, which has been mined through liquidity mining that gets afterwards used within the governance gets a bonus. That's a very interesting uh, idea, especially given your comments that people can dump KNC rewards, which is why we try to have them vested. I don't know if Shane, you have any input into this as well, but again, with your guys' ideas, you can also um, type them in the forum and we can address them in more detail as well. Now I'm looking for other questions. 
there's a lot of discussion as well. So sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, that, I think there's a question from yes, Kayla, right? So for in terms of marketing, definitely when we started uh, the Kyber DMM better. Uh, since then, we have actually been aggressively reaching out to different projects. So even behind the scenes, there are, uh, I guess this is more like a business development or, or outreach initiatives that we are doing. And of course, these talks are behind closed doors. And so we, we it's not all together public, but we are definitely working very hard to talk to more projects and to educate them about Kyber DMM. In terms of uh, promotions and marketing campaigns, uh, what we are doing right now, uh, moving forward, is if we work with projects on joint liquidity mining uh, programs, for example, the approved one recently, which is the, the one with BSC, we will also work with the Binance team right, on, on co-marketing activities and AMAs. Uh, and even uh, in, in general, with regards to AMAs with uh, crypto uh, telegram groups, uh, very popular Twitter influencers, or uh, even just other token teams and projects, we have been, as, as Sasha has uh, listed earlier, and if you are interested in more details, you can look at our ecosystem reports every month. So we actually participate in as many uh, virtual conferences, panels, talks as possible. Uh, and to really just uh, put the word out there and, and spread the good news about Kyber DMM and how it can help uh, their teams to provide better liquidity, enhanced liquidity uh, for their tokens. So we are co we'll continue keeping up the momentum of uh, reaching out to different projects and also attending all these uh, but now because of COVID, we can't do any physical activities, but uh, online, we definitely try to participate in as many uh, events as possible to get the word out there for Kyber and Kyber DMM and KNC. Uh, on like for the community, how you can help us is to you know retweet, share the articles that we put out, uh, share about any kind of uh, joint partnerships or initiatives that we're doing and help us spread the word as well and amplify the uh, message. So yeah, th that, that would be a great help uh, for the Kyber team as well. And if you have any suggestions on which projects that we should work with, for example, like with Index Co-op, Step Protocol, DeFi Pulse, you know, they, they are well-known uh, projects in the space. And that is why we are working closely now with one of the representatives, right? Like Zep, who's here, and and uh, we are discussing on potential ways that we can work at a deeper level. So this is just one example. Uh, we are open to really collaborating with uh, any project, and if if they are, uh, if they can reach out to us on on Discord or Telegram or email, we'll be happy to jump on a call with them and and. Uh, find out how we can work together. Yeah, Sasha, to... anything to add? So yes. Sasha has also been uh, working very closely with me to talk to different projects. And she, uh, as a new member of our marketing team, uh, she's also helping us to host these community calls as well. So uh, I think she's doing a great job. And together with uh, other members of the, our uh, Kyber team, we are all you know, heads down, building and trying to uh, get the spread the word about Kyber DMM and Kyber to as many people in the DeFi space as possible. Yes, and uh, with regard to marketing as well, um, I think that I've seen recently a lot of good organic PR uh, regarding Kyber DMM and also KNC. Uh, there was a famous YouTuber in the crypto space who just gave a really favorable review that a lot of our projects saw as well. He has about 350,000 uh, subscribers and I've seen many, many organic uh, reviews on YouTube and such. So I think that's very sustainable considering we're not like trying to do like paid promotions too much. Uh, when it's organic, I think it really speaks for the project and its true value. 
Uh, but if you have any suggestions regarding marketing, we can definitely take them into consideration. Uh, and with that, I think that we can keep it open for anyone else who has questions. Uh, let's see. I saw a question about oh, crypto law guy. Is the 700,000 figure on kyber.org nine epics worth of rewards? And how does this figure per epic uh, to the rewards that were being earned before migration? Uh, Loy or Shane, do you know? Uh, yeah, I think um, I think this is the estimation uh, of the epochs, uh, oh, sorry, of the reward over all the epochs uh, that we haven't distributed so far. Um, and for the details of like how much per each epoch, then uh, you know probably probably we, uh, you can check on kyber.org later on. Uh, yeah, currently I, I I don't have that exact numbers. Yeah. Okay, so we'll also try to adjust the questions. I know some of our other team members like Tanya are constantly in here and Eche as well answering your guys's questions. So we'll try to adjust any that we missed. It looks like Zeb, you might have one more question. But with that, I think uh, we've addressed everything. Seems to have a good partnership with Engine. Collab with Engine as a main swap source. Happy Star 3. Uh, yes, we are integrating with several aggregators. We've already integrated with the major ones. Uh, some other major ones are still in process. With regard to um, wallets, we're also reaching out to many different wallets to put us on their DAP browsers and such. Uh, Shane, do you have anything to add to that? Yeah, uh, we, have, we have a close relationship with, with Engine, for sure. They are one of our KyberDAO like, partners right from the beginning. And they have been helping us, uh, you know, give us feedback with the KyberDAO and also participating in, in governance when they can. So uh, we are very happy for their affinity uh, sale recently and, and, and it, it's up, the, the launch of the token. And we're definitely uh, looking to see if we can set up a pool for ENJ and the the Affinity token as well on Kyber DMM. So yeah, we 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 are in contact with Engine. Uh, we are very uh, we really admire that project and and respect the team. So that's definitely a, a good suggestion. Okay, and uh, Zeb has a question about whether we'd be open to DPI, the DeFi index, which has KNC in it as diversification. Uh, yes, I believe we're currently in talks with Index Co-op, the project you represent very well, by the way. Um, so we'll look into this more soon. Your thoughts on the rise of Coin98, are they a competitor? Uh, at least in my opinion, uh, Coin98 is not really in the same function as Kyber Network, so we're not competitors collaborating will only bring more um, impact, I guess, right? So DeFi is much more about collaboration than competition. Uh, does anyone else, like Lawyer Shane, do you have any opinions on this? Uh, yeah, no, I, I don't think we are competitors at all, right? Uh, I think um, coin uh the wallet is going to integrate in uh, DMM soon. And uh, we are talking to them on a joy liquidity mining for the token on Fiber DMM too. Okay, so um, I'm going to close this session for uh, questions right now, but we'll definitely address them in the Discord chat after the call. Uh, with that, I want to kind of close uh, with some reminders that Kyber DMM is going multi-chain. Uh, we're on Polygon. We're headed to Binance Smart Chain, and with your vote. Uh, we will probably be headed to Avalanche as well. We appreciate all of your contributions. This is a great community and we look forward to more of your ideas and to seeing where Kyber DMM goes and where Kyber 3.0 goes. So thanks everyone uh, and see you in the next community call. Again, we will do a recap of this community call put it up on YouTube and also write a report. And you can also look at our ecosystem report as well. So thank you, everyone. Awesome. Thanks a lot, everyone, for attending. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. See you at the next call.